Joining us now via Zoom is Yale Medicine pulmonologist and critical care physician, Dr. Denise Lutch-Mansing. Welcome to the show, Dr. Denise. Thank you for having me. Well, it's so important and so timely in the storyline that you just heard with Brittany and losing her husband. You're in the trenches. What are you seeing on the front lines now, especially with unvaccinated patients still suffering from the COVID infection? So as a pulmonary critical care doctor for the last year and a half, I've treated patients with COVID-19 like Brad. And in the last few months, we've had more patients who were unvaccinated in the hospital who became very sick. They were very ill um, and would often deteriorate rapidly. Patients can go into multi-organ failure. They would need a ventilator because they had difficulty breathing. Sometimes would need dialysis as Brad did because their kidneys would not work properly anymore. So in that context, doctor, I'm sure you also saw patients who contracted COVID but had gotten a vaccine or at least one dose. Was their clinical course significantly different than those who had not? There's a difference. The patients who do have vaccinations and contracted COVID were not as ill as those who were unvaccinated. The outcomes are significantly different. We know that Brad had diabetes and high blood pressure. Why are some pre-existing conditions making COVID symptoms so much worse? Most experts believe there's a genetic risk. Patients with a history of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, um, lung disease, and smoking have increased numbers of this receptor that's known as the ACE2 receptor. And that's important because it's an entry point for the virus. So these patients are set up to have more severe disease and a higher risk and in the right environment with the right exposure, which is COVID, they become very ill and they're set up to fail. You know, we know that social distancing and masks are still important, but ultimately, and you heard it from the expert, the expert at Yale, who's in the trenches, seeing people die, saving lives on people who contracted COVID, but made it because they got the vaccination. The vaccination is that important in fighting COVID-19. That being said, I want to thank you, Brittany, for sharing your story. We can't tell you how sorry we are for your loss, but at the same time, we want to thank you for being strong and coming forward and sharing. You're going to save lives with your story. And Dr. Denise Lechman Singh, thank you so much for your dedicated work and for being with us today. For more information on the COVID vaccine, go to our website at thedoctorstv.com.